you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. Signs of domestic bliss. Signs of something. <laughs> so what's on the agenda for today? Well, I've finished my painting. Okay. Like Mr. Magoo. <laughs> um, I've got to go to the home base or Home Depot to get B&Q to get some more resin glue. And I'm going to finish a few machines off and I've got to start some more machines. For busy, busy work work. So your next steampunk show is Whitby in North Yorkshire in two weeks' time. Right. So you've got lots and lots of stuff done. What I'm going to do is either today, tomorrow, or the day after, I'm going to have a quick film round in the workshop of everything that I've made and turn them all on in all the cupboards. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah, tomorrow sounds like a good idea to do that. Yeah, you know, turn everything on that I've made and I'll talk you through everything. Mm. Just have a look at the state of the craft mark. It's mixed media now. <laughs> I might cut it out and just, you know, put a frame on it. <laughs> yeah, but the rest of it's clean, so I can turn it round. I mean, my side's clean. Your side's clean, yes. This is the mat that we have on the table when we do bits and pieces on the dining room table when we want to craft together. Yes, or, or I want to load, load a room. Yeah. Well, while Mike's inside watching TV, I thought I'd show you what I've made this week. Um, I'll turn the lights out so you can have a proper look. I'll just spin the camera around. As you can see, I've been quite busy this week, getting ready for some shows that I've got to do. Oh, spooky skulls, I like those. Let me go down to that. And then onto there. I'll put the light on and I'll give you a little bit of a, an in depth look at a couple of machines. This device I call the Oxygenator. Get in focus. It's got a tube on the side that keeps all the oxygen, and it's got a crystal in the middle, and then two blue oxygen diffusers. <coughs> Pardon me on the sides and that's what it looks like when it's lit it looks really cool and it's handheld as well quite heavy but great it's got a strap as well which you can hang from your belt that is the oxygenator plus i've also got some other bits to show you i've got my Move those bits out of the way. I've got stuff everywhere in here as you can see. This is a static collector. And what's nice about the static collector is, just get it turned on, there we are. It's all on a cast bronze base. It's got little dials on it. But what's, what's clever about it is the LEDs <coughs> In the copper there shine through the crystals and you get your own home aurora borealis i think i said that right i'll just flip the light off and then you can have a look bear with me that is the effect you get on your ceiling from it it's absolutely brilliant it's one of my favorite machines Come back down and that's what it looks like when it's lit. You've got a little green light that says it's running. You've got a colour changing 
LED. She goes through all the colours of the rainbow, from pinks to blues to greens to yellows. And you've got the blue and the red crystals shining through the disc and going up to the ceiling to give you your effect. I'm glad it's dark in here, you can't see what I'm editing. As you can see, like I said before, I've been a busy boy. It's coming in all different colours. I really, really like that colour, the teal colour. There's the skelly bobs heads. I go down. Quite like this one because it's It's like a big Davy lamp. What you can hear ticking at the bottom of the clocks, which are not quite finished yet, so I'll, I'll save those for next week for you. And then in here we have all the other devices. And you'll go on then, you can have a look at my workshop. It is a mess. I am busy working on all sorts of different projects. Um, I'm making an MP3 player at the moment. A customer and that's the oxy that's the one you've just seen with the crystals projecting onto the ceiling I know it's a mess I am sorry but hey I get ideas and I just drop everything and do it well thank you for coming to my workshop this week um, I better go in now Shh, don't tell Mike you've been in here see you next week just noticed that Mr. Bentley is not downstairs. I've just come upstairs to see where he is because he sometimes disappears off to cool down when it's really, really warm. And I've just found him asleep on one of the beds. I'll just turn the camera around and show you. He does sleep in some very strange positions, does that dog? It's a nutter. So as a little treat, we decided to upgrade the patio furniture. Um, we've still got the settee and the two chairs, but we wanted something else. So we've made a little purchase just to enhance the patio. So now we have a nice four seater dining area so we can actually have our meals outside. All we need now is for the sun to stay shining. Wednesday, quarter past three. Well, what started out as a kind of dull, overcast morning has turned into a rather bright, sunny and warm afternoon. It was so hot earlier on that even Mr Bentley gave up and came in the house. Now normally he kind of lounges on the, the patio furniture, soaking up the sun, but even he couldn't handle it this afternoon, just after lunch. And now that we've got the new um, dining patio set, we've moved the, the couch and the two chair set back up onto the deck again, which is where it used to be. Um, so we kind of catch the sun now from at two different times of the day so early morning we can get it now and late into the afternoon we can even sit out there in the evening and eat because down at that end of the patio is where it gets the sun right the way until kind of seven eight o'clock at night so it's perfect so with it being Wednesday I'm doing the usual on my way to see mum and dad um, I don't think mum will want to go shopping this evening I know I've said that the last couple of weeks but I doubt she will want to go this week because they go away for a week on Saturday so theoretically she's only going to be buying for two days and I don't think she'll bother however <laughs> knowing mum she will want to do some last minute clothes shopping
just had to make a quick stop off. The patio set, the umbrella, the parasol, didn't come with the base. So I know this place has them and they're very, very inexpensive. So I've just nipped in and made a purchase. Right, I can go now. Look up if I turn the engine on. Oh, come on, aircon, kick in. So it's about 7.30 on Thursday morning. I set off early to come back to Leeds because I've got lots and lots to do today. I've got a very, very busy day planned. Um, when I took Mum out shopping last night, we did do a little bit of grocery shopping and some clothes shopping too. But I forgot um, my phone, <laughs> so I didn't do any filming. Um, I don't know why, I normally put it in my pocket, but I just left it on the side. Um, <clears throat> so when we got back, and loaded all the shopping and that kind of stuff. Uh, I spoke to Ian last night, and he told me that it had been raining um, quite heavily. So I've missed the rain, but obviously the rain has now, <clears throat> hopefully will kick some life back into the grass. Um, much needed rain and watering for the plants and everything. So, but there was none where mum and dad live at all, none whatsoever. So just driven back this morning, just pulling into Leeds now, and it's gray and overcast. <coughs> you can probably see through the window. So I should be home pretty quickly because the traffic's not that heavy at the moment. It's raining. The skies have opened, so the garden and all the plants are getting some much needed natural rainfall. So it's been practically an unbroken spell, about three to four weeks of sunshine and warm weather. So hopefully this will pick up all the plant life. It's Saturday morning and it's just gone 11.15. Now I've been up or awake since about 6.30 this morning. Um, I set my alarm to wake up early so that I could call um, mum and dad on the telephone because they're going away on their holiday today. So this was mum's um, birthday present from dad. Um, so they're off, they've been picked up at seven this morning. So they're on their merry way, which means I won't be going over to mum and dad's next week because they're not going to be there. So um, yesterday, Friday, um, Ian and I went over to Art From The Heart in Harrogate, which is Diane Reevely's store. Um, we <laughs> drove all the way there, um, walked into the building only to find that they're closed for summer holidays. So that was a wasted trip. So we just turned down and came all the way back again. Uh, I did film a little bit of um, entering the building going up the stairs that kind of thing in readiness for taking the camera into the store um, <laughs> but obviously with it being shut we just turned on and walked away again um, and I never bothered filming on the way back out again so when we got back I am um, <clears throat> Friday afternoon we just kind of plodded on and carried on doing what we were doing um, so that was a bit of a wasted day yesterday so today um, I've got bits and pieces to do on the computer. I want to do some 
um, on screen display kind of green screen stuff. Um, I want to create some new ones, which you may have noticed last week. I added some new kind of graphics to the vlog. Um, didn't like them, didn't like the way they looked. They're far too big, so I've changed them for this week. As you've just seen, we've now got the little red ones that come out and then disappear back off again. So I'm creating these myself. They're not pre-built um, things for the video software, where sometimes you can buy, you know, these kind of um, what we call lower thirds that come out. I'm actually creating them myself, animating them all myself because, you know, graphic designer and all that, that's what I do. So yes, so that's what I'm doing today. So I'm creating some new ones. Uh, I've got a few other little bits and pieces to do a little bit of editing and then I'm going to make a start on doing an art journal page for tonight's upload but I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Hmm. Empty. That's not much good. It's Sunday and it's about half past ten. Um, I've been up since about eight-ish. The sun's shining again. We've got the warm weather back which is nice. Uh, Mr Bentley's outside sat in that sunshine already. Um, Ian's gone out, he's gone back to the Home Depot store that he went to earlier in the week to get the stuff that he couldn't get on Monday because they didn't have it in but they told him that it'd be in Friday, Saturday kind of thing so he's gone today to pick it up. Uh, we're also looking for some um, some slate chippings to put down in one of the areas in the garden just to kind of finish that area off. Um, and the, the garden's looking really, really nice now. Everything's in full bloom um, and it's obviously attracting all the bees and the insects and all that kind of stuff and the butterflies. There's lots and lots of butterflies in the garden this year, which is absolutely cool. So for the rest of today, uh, I've got a couple of little jobs that I want to do. Um, I haven't done anything on the Sunflower Journal um, for a, for a long time because I've been working on other stuff. The Sunflower Journal is, is my little pet project. But today I wanted to try and put the cover, or the, the actual fabric, onto the cover. So if I remember, I'll, I'll record it and, and include it in this week's vlog. So this is the Sunflower book cloth. Now the first thing that I need to do is I need to iron it to make sure that there's no uh, creases where it's been folded up left in it so we don't want to glue it down onto or stick it down onto our book board while it's got creases in so just give it a quick steam over and I'll turn it over give it another quick press on that side And then we're ready to add the adhesive. Right, so have the material. This is the roll of adhesive that you've probably seen me use before. And this measures just over six inches in width. It's severely depleted since the last time you saw it. It was about that thick and um, because it's been used a lot. So what I need to do, it's very 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 strong so what I'm going to do is just turn it on its side and then just place the adhesive straight down and then grab a scalpel and you can see just need to give it a little bit of a rub and then I can then add the next piece and then line those edges up and I'm hoping that this has been picked up by the camera final piece. I've cut a little bit too far though, but that's okay, I can always piece that in. Right, 
right up against the edge like so and then I can turn that over you can see how strong it is and then if there's any bits that we don't need like this bit I can trim that off Put that to one side. And then I can just trim off all the excess from the edges using this, uh, what was it, 16 inch ruler, which comes in extremely handy. bit missing there I can use a scrap just to go over the edge so all I need now to do is just to trim these edges off which I will do and then I'll come back when I'm actually ready to stick it down onto my book boards Okay, so this is my book board all ready to go. <clears throat> so all I need to do now is to remove the adhesive backing. I don't know whether the camera's just picking up activity over by the window, just ignore that. It's Ian cleaning the windows. <clears throat> Oop. Right, so the adhesive comes off. just like that okay I'm on. can be a little bit fiddly sometimes particularly you haven't got particularly good nails <laughs> Okay, now do you remember that piece I said was missing just along the edge here? Now is the time to grab a piece of scrap. I've got bits of adhesive on my finger now. And just <clears throat> lay that over the top. Like I said, it's very, very sticky. and peel it off and then now that I've got that done 
turn the cloth round. I can grab my book board. I'm going to stand up and do this. And then I can position it in the middle, drop it down, and give it a push. So grab, I need a clear ruler now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off now the corners or mitre the corners. This is when you need a sharp knife because you're cutting through cloth. It's not like you're cutting through uh, paper or book cloth, which is backed with paper. It's actual fabric, so you need to be extra careful. And I'm not cutting right up to the edge because I need to leave a little bit of a lip so that I can tuck in when I fold over the cloth. Doing anything spectacularly amazing here and this is something which there are already many many YouTube videos out there showing you how to cover your boards this is just how I like to do it okay so I've got my bone folder <laughs> hoping that's in shot and I can now just fold that over And then make sure I've caught those corners, which is why we left just that little bit of gap at the end. Fold it over. And then catch that corner. And then that one. And then when we fold these edges over, that gives you a very, very neat and tidy corner. I will do a close up of the corners. In a sec. In the bone folder and just push in. I've already told them to ignore the man behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> and then on this side, just rub the bone folder in between your spine and your cover just to make sure that adhesives grab in. And then there you go. One sunflower journal cover well that's nice thank you beautiful isn't it mm. love, love, can you do love. that with any material though well this is just ordinary um cotton material oh, right. it's obviously the thicker the material yeah um, the more difficult it's going to be to work with so cotton's probably better because it's thin and quite stretchy yeah well i would say stretchy but it's it's nice and it's easy to work with so i'll do a close up on those corners now Okay, so the mitered corners. Because we pushed in that little bit of extra material, it's made those corners really nice, and neat, and tidy. And of course, when we when we put our inside um, covers on, those corners will also be covered up. So it'll just make it nice and neat. So you won't see those little bits where it's just a little bit off. But mostly, it looks pretty darn good. 
Here we go. Nice corners. But of course, if you wanted to finish them off um, with decorative corners or the little metal corners, then actually I probably will do because this, like I said, this is one of my little pet projects. See the little fluffy ones taking up residence again. Yes, it has. So it's now about 1.30 on Sunday afternoon and I've just come down to uh, home base, the place where Ian came this morning because when he came back he told me that they had the decorative slate chips in the garden <coughs> in the garden centre um, and they were on offer so I've come down to get them while they're cheap and while I was here I've um, just nipped into the supermarket to buy a few bits and pieces decided I'm going to do a curry chicken curry for dinner this evening um, so I've just popped in to grab a few essentials, naan bread, that kind of thing, to go with. It's very, very busy today. And because it's sunny, people have lost their brains, even more so than usual. Supermarket car parks seem to be the one place on earth where people, ordinary, everyday people, who are normally very sensible, seem to just leave their brains in the trunk. <coughs> Should, what? Give it to me then, I'll show it. God. It's, it's nearly six o'clock on 6 p.m. On Sunday evening we've just had dinner uh, lovely um, chicken tikka masala rounded off with a lemon meringue pie yes I know it's Sunday calories don't count um, I'm just having a bit of a relax the last embers of or the warm embers of the day um, it's nice and cool out here on the patio in our with our new furniture Mr Bentley's playing with one of the toys that Bet Jacob sent Unfortunately, Mr. Froggy didn't make it through the weekend. Mr. Froggy has died. Yes, unfortunately, Mr. Froggy had his innards all over, <clears throat> all over the garden. But Mr. P Duckbill Platty Plastic Plasty Puss here um, managed to last, which is quite good. He's got no eyes. No, his eyes have gone. But Bentley's but... loving it. Let's watch. Can give him? Let go then. Let go. So all that needs to be done now really is for me to wind this week up. I'll just turn it round so you can say goodbye to Ian. And goodbye from me. <laughs> is that it? Well, yeah, I'm a bit tired. I'm full of uh, curry, naan bread and lemon meringue pie and I had a bit of chocolate as well. Yes, I didn't. Well, I have been busy. I've been cleaning the windows. So I need to get my strength up. Yeah, so we've done quite a lot today, haven't we? Yes, we have. Anyway. So that's goodbye from him. Do you want to see the slate chip ins? Not you. Yeah. Where can you see? Oh, there you go. Just, just there. Look on the edge. When the water bill goes down. Yes, they? yes, it will. I know it's probably making you feel all sick. A roller coaster. All right, so that's it from me for this week. I will see you all in a couple of days. Bye for now. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.